Hey folks, how y'all doing? Jaime Delapara on the Wingman 115 channel and I'm coming at you with a quick knife review and knife tip video and it's about the old timer honing steel. Now this product is new to me but the concept's been around for quite some time. It is a simple honing steel now. Typically when you think of a honing steel it's more of a long cylindrical rod that chefs use on their chef knives but this is geared more towards the outdoorsman. What's interesting to note about this one is it's got a seven inch length but with a wide, uh, one inch in width. What's interesting about that is that this can be used as a wedge. That's the, the, what caught my attention about this product. So if you need to split wood and you're not into batoning with your knife and for whatever reason you don't have a, a heavy duty hatchet or chopper, this can assist. That's what really caught my attention, this wedge-like shape. But its primary purpose is in honing your blade, not sharpening, honing. Honing, all you're doing is just realigning that fine burr that, that might have gone off when you're doing some serious work. So let's get into the design features of the sheath that help in that. You see this large divot here that's in there. What I like about that is that it's actually part of the sheath system. So not only, and it has, you could see this stud that will inevitably lock into that little orifice that is there. So if we get that all there, so that has locked it in place and it holds it. So that's great, it stays in place, but it also has uh, the other feature of this, and this is what really caught my attention. You, you approach it in the other way. If I'm, it's on camera guys, sorry. And you insert it in this way, close it up. And let me set it down, sorry guys, trying to do this upside down. All right, it's his first day at band camp. Yeah, one time at band camp. So now the sheath is assisting to hold the steel. Now, according to the guys over at Old Timer, you're supposed to use this as a strop. So I'm using, and, and when I'm raking this blade across, I'm feeling a lot of material, a lot of waving material. So me personally, I may actually use it as a almost like sharpening mechanism. But if I'm gonna use this, guess what? I like this radius side. So I'm gonna actually go into it like I use my steels at home. Believe it or not, I actually use an old aluminum arrow as a honing steel and it works great. I found that out just by coincidence when I would refletch my arrows, the knife that would scrape off the feathers off the aluminum arrow would get sharper. So this works in the same way as a steel by doing that. Either side will work great. And I was just using this knife. It's, it was already sharp to begin with. So yeah, but that's, that's what I really liked about it. Now I did do a little mod on this thing. One of the mods that I did was the leather that is here, I put that on there. The leather that was actually on there, I have it around the sheath. When it comes to a lot of sheath systems that I think that I will not wear on my belt, I like to put a long lanyard on there so I could either hang it from a tree, and if it's a knife or something that it's of extreme necessity, I could always put it around the neck depending on what that item is. Obviously, this isn't that detrimental to have around my neck. I guess if I was a butcher, maybe I'd want to have it readily available, and then you could put something to hang around your neck. But obviously, that's a belt loop. So I did put that smaller one on there. If I don't want to use the sheath for whatever reason, then this can hang. Also, I do this for a lot of knives where it's a, on some of the knives that have a small lanyard, it looks like a pinky lanyard. It's also so I can hang it up. So if I need to clean something and it's got to air dry, it's a good way to just kind of hold it uh, on a nail or a small branch. So that's something that I also apply on many of my knives. But for this sharp honing steel, I apologize, this honing steel, it's a great little product. Now, I'll let you know that this is coming around anywhere from, I've seen the prices ranging from $13 to $30, it just depends. And this is made overseas. Now, there are some older vintage versions of this that were made here in the United States. And you can, I've, I have found them on eBay, but they're gonna be a lot more expensive. They're gonna be pushing over $40 for vintage, either the sheath alone or the combination of the steel with the sheath. Now, from my understanding, this is supposed to be a D2 steel. I could be wrong about that, but I believe I saw that listed somewhere. But again, the current model, like this one that I bought, 
is made overseas in China. You can't, and there the price is again around thirteen to thirty dollars, somewhere in that neighborhood. But you can find some old vintage ones. It's going to cost you a little bit more. But I just think it's a great tool. It is a little heavy, so you have to take that into consideration. Well, for a, a campsite at a campsite where you know you're going to be processing wood, this is actually probably a little lighter than a hatchet or a big chopper if you want to use this obviously on a larger piece of wood and then you can baton this through without uh, hurting one of your knives. So that's something that I found very interesting about this and drew my attention. So I'll be using this more to find out how it works. And yeah, if this is something that you think that might be useful for you, then do some online shopping and uh, maybe it might work for you. Thank you for your time and attention and we'll see you on the next video.